Hey guys, Ardifantis here, and this is my walkthrough of Tutorial Mission 11. So the focus of this mission is going to be on Chill. Chill is a new mechanic which allows you to temporarily disable your opponent's defense as long as you chill for more than the total HP of the defender. So to accomplish that, we have Frostbites and Tattoo Nullifier. Frostbite is a unit that chills for 3 when you sacrifice it, so it's a one-time use unit, sort of like Pixie. And Tatsu, on the other hand, does 2 damage, and you get to use it every turn. It can chill for up to 5. So, with the Tatsu Nullifier, for example, we can freeze the energy matrix. Now, this energy matrix was no longer able to block. Uh, we can also freeze the wall with it, but even though it has more chill than the wall itself, you can't use the extra chill on anything else. So, it's an all or nothing sort of thing. In terms of the random set units, we see Pixie and Energy Matrix, and we also see the two units I just introduced. And finally, we have Centurion, which is just a very good defender. It can absorb for 5 damage every single turn, and it also does 2 attack, but it's quite expensive, and we're not going to buy it this game. So, looking at the board position, we see our opponent has 10 attack, and if we harvest all our drones, there's actually no way we can defend his total amount of attack. However, uh, we're in good shape because we have the power of freeze. Even though it looks like it's going to be very hard to break through, we actually can freeze all of his defenders using our frostbites and our tatsu. Notice that I have to use two frostbites to freeze the energy matrix. Six is greater than five, so that is disabled. And we actually get to freeze all his stuff. So with the eight damage, we just kill his tarsiers. Now this is very easy to defend with just a wall. He's only doing 2 damage, so he can't really harm us at all. And with the remaining gold, I'm just going to buy 2 Tarsiers. So because all of our damage and freeze, or most of it rather, was bursts, like one-time use sort of stuff, uh, we actually have to rebuild a little bit. And the fastest way to pressure our opponent is actually going to be with Tatsu Nullifier. It does damage and also freezes. So it kind of pressures your opponent's defense on two fronts. And this is a way to really just assemble a huge amount of what I call pressure very, very fast. Just forces your opponent to defend every single turn for a rather large amount. And here we actually get to breach once again by using our frostbites. And I can even sacrifice the pixie. To do 8 damage. And we just kill his 2 Tarsiers and then a large number of his drums. Now note that he actually got a Tattoo Nullifier, so he's going to be able to freeze our wall. This means I'm going to have to purchase another wall on defense. And with the remaining gold, I'm just going to buy a Rhino and a Frostbite. Because our opponent is very close to crumbling, so rather than buying like a Tarsier, which takes 2 turns to construct, I can just buy something that attacks immediately. And on this turn, once again, we can just freeze all of our opponent's attack, or defense rather, kill his Tatsu, kill his Tarsier, and then the rest of his drones. And by our last, our third Tatsu. And at this point, the game is pretty much over, because he no longer has any economy or permanent attack. And we don't really need to freeze anything in this position because we just need to kill all of his remaining stuff. So yeah, that is the introduction to Freeze. I will see you guys in the next video.